Hey legends, welcome to the Glitch and Grow Lab, your VIP pass to a space where we spark big ideas and glitch the game. Today we're diving into the power of play, so grab a coffee or whatever your drink of choice is, get cozy, and let's disrupt the ordinary together. Okay, let's get one thing straight. The idea that play is just for kids is, like, the most boring, outdated, totally tragic opinion ever. Seriously. It's like saying brunch is only for Sundays, or that sequins are only for New Year's Eve. We've been fed this narrative that once you get a real job, start paying bills, and can legally rent a car, you're supposed to trade in your Lego sets for spreadsheets and your sense of wonder for a sensible beige blazer. But that's a scam, people. A full-blown conspiracy to make us all less interesting and way more stressed out. Play isn't the opposite of work. It's the secret ingredient that makes work, and honestly life, not just bearable, but brilliant. It's the brain's equivalent of a really good highlighter. Think about it. When was the last time you did something just for the sheer, unapologetic fun of it? Not because it was on your to-do list, not because it would look good on Instagram, and definitely not because it would advance your five-year plan. All right, let's put on our lab coats, but make them fun and colorful, obviously. When you start playing, your brain throws a party. It's an exclusive VIP-only event. The guest list is stacked with a bunch of fancy-sounding neurochemicals, the cool kids of your cranium. First up is dopamine. It's the brain's little gold star, the chemical that says, OMG, yes, do that again. Dopamine is released when you anticipate or experience something rewarding, like nailing a punchline, solving a puzzle, or finally beating your friends at Mario Kart. It's the ultimate motivator making you feel focused, excited, and ready to conquer the world, or at least one more level. But the party doesn't stop there. Next to arrive are the endorphins, your brain's personal glam squad. These are the body's natural painkillers and mood elevators, the reason a good run or a belly laugh can make you feel invincible. Endorphins are what give you that runner's high, but you can also get a player's high. They swoop in, kick stress to the curb, and leave you feeling euphoric and relaxed. It's like getting a big, warm hug from your own nervous system. Then there's the dynamic duo of oxytocin and serotonin. Oxytocin is the cuddle hormone, the ultimate connector. It shows up during social play, like team sports, or a board game night. Serotonin, meanwhile, is the chill friend who regulates your mood and keeps anxiety in check. When you're playing, especially with others, your brain is basically concocting a perfect chemical cocktail. It's a literal recipe for joy. Now let's talk about making your brain, like, super flexible. I'm not talking about being able to do mental yoga, although that sounds chic. I'm talking about neuroplasticity. It's a big, sciencey word that basically means your brain isn't a fixed, boring lump of gray matter. It's more like a wad of Play-Doh. It can change. It can reshape. It can form new connections throughout your life based on your experiences. And guess what one of the best tools for sculpting that brilliant brain of yours is? You guessed it, my fabulous protégés. Play. When you play, you're literally rewiring your brain to be smarter, faster, more creative. It's a workout for your mind. Every time you try a new game, engage in some witty banter, imagine a fantastical scenario. You're forging new neural pathways. Think of it like building new roads in your brain. The more roads you have, the more ways there are for information to travel, the less likely you are to get stuck in a mental traffic jam. A brain with lots of diverse pathways is a brain that can pivot on a dime. It can look at a problem from 10 different angles instead of just one. This mental gymnastics is crucial for a little thing called divergent thinking, brainstorming on steroids. Ask a kid what you can do with a cardboard box and you'll get rocket ship, castle, race car, secret hideout. Ask a play-deprived adult, you get, uh, for storage? Maybe recycling? Play keeps divergent thinking muscles toned. It teaches you to look beyond the obvious and to embrace the absurd, impractical, wonderfully weird. In a world that changes fast, a playful mind sees challenges as new levels in the game. You fall down, you laugh, you get back up. That's what separates innovators from imitators. Now, not all play is created equal, but that's great news because it means you can find a style that perfectly suits your vibe. It's like a buffet brunch menu for your brain. You get to pick what you're in the mood for. First up, we have physical play. This is the stuff that gets your body moving. Sports, dancing, hiking, or even just a good old-fashioned pillow fight. This type of play torches stress and floods your system with those fabulous endorphins, improves coordination, 
and spatial awareness. Plus, there's nothing like wildly dancing in your kitchen to your favorite playlist to shake off a bad day. Maybe invent a new move. Next on the menu is social play, board games, improv comedy, team building, or just riffing with your funniest friend. Social play is a masterclass in emotional intelligence. Read cues, negotiate, compromise, communicate effectively. Be part of a team, celebrate a shared win, and lose gracefully. No board flipping. Imaginative and creative play, storytelling, daydreaming, painting, building with Lego, writing a fake reality show starring your pets, making something out of nothing. It's world building, problem solving, and thinking outside the box because there is no box. Finally, object play. Fiddling with a gadget, doing a puzzle, trying a new recipe, or doodling on a napkin. Hello, curiosity, fine motor skills, problem solving, mix and match. Have a dance party, physical, with friends, social, where you all pretend you're spies, imaginative. Boom, you're a triple threat player. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, cool. This all sounds delightful, but my calendar is a color-coded nightmare. I have approximately four minutes of free time per day, which I use to stare blankly at a wall. I get it. We're busy, important people. But the beauty of play is that it doesn't require a three-day weekend. You can weave it into the tiny cracks of your life. These are play snacks, bite-sized moments that reset your brain. Turn your commute into a game. That guy in the minivan? International jewel thief, the woman on her phone, negotiating world peace, or gamify adult tasks, hate cleaning, put on a high energy playlist and beat the album timer. It's a race against the clock. Turn shopping into a scavenger hunt. Find the weirdest vegetable. Make a meal only from foods starting with tea. Shifting from chore to challenge releases that sweet, sweet dopamine. Also, reclaim your lunch. Watch a funny animal video. Do a quick crossword. Call your most hilarious friend and laugh. Try mindful play. What if it could talk? What if it was a secret transformer? Yank your brain out of an analytical rut. Look, you don't have to be good to enjoy it. The goal isn't mastery. It's the process itself. Five to ten minutes a day can be radical self-care and a serious investment in your brilliance that's sure to pay off mass dividends. It's not about finding more time. It's about finding more play in the time you have. Every great innovator from scientists, artists, tech billionaires talks about their aha moment, that sudden flash where a complex problem becomes clear. Most of those moments are the result of a playful state of mind. Innovation isn't born in rigid pressure. It's born when you're relaxed, curious, and messing around. Play fosters psychological safety and flow. In play, there's no wrong way. If it collapses, you laugh and try again. Failure isn't catastrophe, it's data. That's how you get 5,000 plus prototypes before getting it right. He wasn't failing. He was playing. Flow, coined by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, is losing track of time, forgetting insecurities, feeling deep joy and focus. This is when the aha moments happen. A weak adhesive became page markers. Curiosity turned a mistake into a billion dollar product. Play grants freedom to experiment, resilience to fail, and focus for flow. Stuck on a big problem? Stop working and go play. Your breakthrough is waiting on the other side of a good laugh. So we've established that play is basically the secret to unlocking your inner superhero. It's not frivolous, it's fundamental. Einstein called play the highest form of research. He'd play violin to let his mind wander and connect new dots. Embracing a playful mindset turns obstacles into puzzles, setbacks into pivots, Tuesdays into adventures. A playful life is a happier life, period. The chemistry backs it up. Dopamine, endorphins, oxytocin, antidotes to anxiety and burnout. Maybe you're a Lego ping pong tinkerer or a storyteller who says yes to 15 minutes of play. Your brand of play is yours. Guard it. This is your invitation to enter your genius era. Schedule play, be bold, be curious, laugh at the mistakes, it's your turn to disrupt the ordinary, grow extraordinary. So, what's your next move to glitch the game? Drop it in the comments, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to keep sparking with a glitch and grow lab. Let's rewrite reality together. 
Now go have some fun, you glorious geniuses.